Hello, I'm Reed Farrar, a member of Newport's Photonics and Precision Technology Research and Development Team. Today, I'm going to tell you about Newport's new table-to-table -table beam stabilization technology. With this technology, you can compensate for laser beam drift or stabilize a beam passing from one optical table to another. In the latter case, the tables may be floating on Newport vibration isolation systems. With this diagram, I will explain a typical beam stabilization system incorporating the following Newport equipment. Optical tables floating on vibration isolation systems, a laser, fast steering mirrors, and laser beam position sensing detectors. Light from the laser is centered onto fast steering mirror number one and reflected to table two. The beam passes through a beam sampler which reflects a small portion of the light onto a beam position sensing detector. The output signal from this detector is routed back to the controller of the fast steering mirror number one. This signal steers the mirror in pitch and yaw to stabilize the position of the beam on the position sensing detector, correcting for pointing errors due to conditions such as air currents, thermal gradients, or motion of the two tables relative to one another. The majority of the beam passes onto the surface of fast steering mirror two, which is positioned such that its surface is the same optical distance from the beam sampler as position sensing detector one. With this configuration, a beam that is stable on position sensing detector one will also be stable on the surface of the second fast steering mirror. Continuing on, the beam reflects from fast steering mirror two. Again, a small portion of the beam is sampled and directed to a second position sensing detector, while the remainder of the beam continues on to the experiment. The signal from the second position sensing detector is routed to the controller of fast steering mirror two, which corrects for any remaining pitch and yaw. Two switch networks are utilized to ensure that the polarity of the position sensing detector signals are consistent with those of the controllers. This concept could continue on to a third table by incorporating a second beam stabilization system. We're in Newport's new technology and application center. I will demonstrate to you table-to-table -table beam stabilization in a real experimental setup. We have an experiment set up on two Newport optical tables. Both tables are floating on vibration isolation systems. On table number one, we have a spectrophysics tsunami ultrafast laser. The output from the laser goes through a beam elevator to bring it to the desired uh, height off of the table and is directed over to this fast steering mirror. The beam then reflects off the fast steering mirror across to the second table where a small portion of it is sampled with a beam sampler and directed onto a beam position sensing device. The remainder of the beam passes over here where a small portion of it is sampled off to this position sensing detector. The signal from this detector goes back around to the second fast steering mirror to correct for any pitch and yaw error that may still remain in the beam. At this point, the beam has been stabilized and can be directed to the remaining portion of the experiment. New port fast steering mirrors are employed to stabilize the femtosecond laser beam between two floating optical tables. The beam is launched into a 1.8 micron photonic crystal fiber to generate white light. The intensity of white light doesn't change with significant movement of the table. 